Well, this like what takes me out to Irwin Lake. Look at all this. This is not junk, folks. This is a lot of glad tidings to an Indian reservation. And, of course, we have Linda here. Hello. How are you? Just fine. Man, this container... I'm going to swing over here. Yeah, do. Quick. Before, look how long this container is, folks. It's 22 feet. 22 feet long, packed to the door. She can't get anything else in. No. No, I had a hard time getting that one in today. Me and my, <laughs> me and my bag pusher were working see, on that. Yeah, that's and, the bag pusher. And I thought, it's going to be on my head any minute, but I was able to get it. I found that one on my porch when I came home today. Really? Yes. Yeah, so. People have really given well. I Absolutely. Think. And I saw a lady today that I can't remember her name at the bank. She goes, I have another bag for you. I left two bags on your porch the other day. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, Lord. more is coming all the Praise time. Praise the Lord on this mm -hmm. one, I tell you. So you're heading out next Tuesday? Wednesday. 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 Uh-huh. And you're going to the Pine Ridge? Ridge. Reservation in South Dakota. In South in Dakota. The, in the southwest corner. Mm -hmm. Sure. How long does it take you to drive there? About two and a half days. Really? And I'll leave, uh, like, early, you know, Wednesday morning. Uh -huh. So you have a long hop there, and then... The next, you know, the next day you have a full day, but not that full. Sure. You know, not starting that early. And then uh, the last day maybe will only be a few hours. Oh, right. Because I'd want to get there Friday because I would like the lady that I take this stuff to to take me around. Because everybody asks me, we want to see pictures, we want to see this and that. So I bought a digital camera now. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm cruising You're, around. You yeah. betcha. And, uh, of course, I don't know what to do with it once you get the pictures on there. <laughs> but I do have a digital camera. And uh, I gather you can put those on a CD so I could sure show can. people. I can show people what I've been talking about. Sure. You know, that how gross it is, you know, yeah. some of the places, yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Is that area uh, hilly or flat? A little or? hilly. It, you know, when you get over to the west to the, you know, the Black Hills, then it's uh -huh. it's more mountainous and greener. But sure. out here, it's just sort of hilly. Uh, there's a, the last big trees that you see are by Shadron, Nebraska. Uh -huh. And heading north out of Shadron, then you don't see too much more. It's sort of a rolling hills it looks like custer got his there you know it's <laughs> sure. that type of uh, that bet. type of area that's great mm -hmm. okay let's talk about the reservoir well, let's talk about uh, everybody donating i mean you yes. started how long ago asking for donations about three months about three months after i well some people had brought the stuff last year when i came home um you know the pod was gone uh -huh. i came home like on i don't know friday uh -huh. I went somewhere. I came home on Saturday, and there was stuff here. Oh, wow. And I go, man, didn't they see the pod was gone? But wow. So that stuff has been in my garage for a year. Oh. Almost a year. Amazing. Then people would, there was people that are moving that said, I have to get rid of this now. I'm moving right. to Arizona, and I don't need it. So I go, oh. okay, and I'd put it in my garage. Then I had the garage across the street right down the middle of their garage. I was, you know, packing stuff. Uh -huh. So it's been for months. It hasn't oh, been wow. just the last three months. That's cool. And you've got furniture, I mean, yes. cabinets. That's you've got VCR mattresses, mm -hmm. which is, and you said that they hardly ever, uh, they don't have mattresses. Some they people on, don't. On Some people mat. don't. Uh, when I got there last year, Karen said, uh, gee, Lynn, it's good to see you. Did you bring mattresses and TVs? And I went, huh? Oh, wow. Didn't know about that. Yeah. So there's, um, there's two TVs in here, there's four VCRs, there's cool. about 400 VCR tapes. Wow. So if somebody back there can start a library, you know, where they could rent them to people, uh -huh. because if you're out in the boondocks, but you do have electricity sure. without cable or regular TV, then you at least could watch something, some the movies, or kids could see sure. some, you know, kids programming. Yeah, cowboy mu uh, movies. Yeah, <laughs> where the cowboy gets his. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's something. yeah. Okay, now, the reservation is one of the largest in the country, it's population wise. Yes, I don't know what the the population was at the, this census, but the official census in 2000 was 28,000, but they figured there might be as many as 40,000 people. There. Wow. And, that's a lot. And it's a very poor yeah. reservation. What's the average income? 26 to 2,700 a year. Wow. 
and uh, the re the uh, unemployment is 83 to 85 percent, percent more in the winter. Uh -huh. Because you're stuck there. There's no pro there's no public transportation. The only library is in the college. Uh -huh. And I don't know if people can just waltz in there and go to the library. Yeah. You know, the average Joe Blow probably can't go in there. That's I don't for know. Sure. You yeah. know. And uh so uh I've got books in here, I've got school supplies. Huh. Somebody gave me uh my neighbor Fran gave me a bunch of toilet paper. Oh really? I think that's probably a hot commodity. I'll there's bet it two is. porta potties in here. Oh, good. One with wheels and one just a camping glue. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a radial arm saw. Wow. You know, electric saw sure. in here. Uh, there's, but most of the stuff is, is clothing and sure. linens. The Petersons from Peterson Sawmill, uh -huh. they closed their house out. Oh, did they? And I have 13 bags of linens. Oh, wow. And jackets and coats that came from there. Wow, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, of course, get them through the winter. The coats and warm clothing are really good. Yeah. I mean, if you had to, you could sleep in it. Yeah. You know, there's no rule that says you have to use it outside the house. That's right. Yeah. Well, of course, you make jewelry, and you at all the events around town. I try to. That's uh, for Granny's Pantry, the uh, jewelry. Yeah, making uh, that for Granny's Pantry. Mm -hmm. But you also talk about this November trip that yes. you take every year. Now, you rent a U-Haul. Yes, from, uh, let me give a plug for Tim Griffin for U-Haul of Barstow up on Main Street. Oh, good. He's the only one. He came through the first year in 20 minutes. Wow. And everybody else, they'll send us this, send us emails, call them, email them, do fax them, do everything, and you, they just blew us off. Wow. Now, do they give you a special rate? Oh, yeah. Or do you have to pay for it? No, I pay for it. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, know, I mean, it's paid for. Rate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, somewhere yeah. around six fifty, flat oh. rate. Wow, but that doesn't count good. with mileage or anything. Wow. He just gives it to me for like six fifty, and then I have to pay for taxes, insurance, and the trailer. Yeah, and the gasoline. Mm -hmm. up oh, there the gas. Where, yeah, that's which is nope. three nineteen now. Either. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much will be there, but uh, I've been porting all my money, everything that came in, into the uh, customer service account. You know of. Mm -hmm. um, community service account mm -hmm. of uh, the Sunset Lions. Oh, sure. And today, then they wrote me a check back, oh, and yeah. I put it into this travel account. Sure. So I have enough to pay for this and the gas, and anything left over will go back in for next year. Very good. And we have some for next year, thanks to the Santa Inez Band of Mission Indians. Really? Yes. They came up with a big check. San Manuel doesn't help out? Or? They, well, <laughs> <laughs> the only two that helped out before this were the Avi in uh -huh. Laughlin. Right. They gave me a two-night stay. And the uh, Fantasy Springs out in Indio uh -huh. gave me two nights and two dinners at their posh restaurant there. Wow. That's the only thing until the Santa Ynez came through. And I went to every single casino in Southern California, all the way to, I went into Yuma, and then I went up to the Santa Inez, and I'm so glad I went there. Good. Because they sent enough money, so I knew this I was going to make this trip, oh, no good. matter what. Mm -hmm. It's something that I thought that the ones with the casinos uh, really help those that don't have casinos. The, Only in California. Oh, really? I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a shame. However, I did get invited to a uh, fundraising, you know, a meet, the meet and greet type thing uh -huh. at Simeon Prophet's house. And I went oh, for good. James Ramos. Oh, good. Yes. And I went in and he goes, hi, I'm James Ramos. And I go, yes, I know you are. You and I'm are. here to pigeonhole you. And he's chairman of the same <laughs> Yes. And I go, I really want to talk to you. And I had six pages of newspaper clippings to give him. <laughs> and I says, I've been there. But he says, I've never seen these papers before. Wow. So whether he was blowing smoke or really hadn't seen them, I don't know. Yeah. But he said for my daughter to put it in on the Internet for next year. Oh, good. A request for next year. And I'm going to have her put on there that yeah. James Ramos has all the paperwork. Good. You know, of what I've been doing. So they won't just think yeah. I'm. He also got reelected to yes. the uh, Board of Directors uh -huh. of the San Bernardino Community uh, College, Community College yeah. District. Yeah, he sure Which did. Which is great. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, he's a really nice guy. Seems nice. And the yeah. San Manuel tribe, they really they do a lot. Donate. They yes, donate they so do. much. 
to a lot of communities. That's why yeah. I say I'm sure he now that he knows that you'll get some support next year. I hope so. I hope so. It yeah. would be easier than have to almost banging on doors out here and say, give me your money. Sure. You know? Now, you can get all this in the truck, so you also rent a trailer. I have a 12-foot trailer. <laughs> it's 12 by... Oh, I don't know. The little one is is uh, five by eight, uh -huh. and it's bigger than I think it's wider. But I know it's at least twelve foot long, and you can walk in it. Wow! So whatever, you know, doesn't you fit. Get... This ha that that one I rent has the granny's attic thing. Oh sure. So you can shove stuff in there, and then it is also I think six inches wider than this. Oh yeah. And six inches taller or something. I knew last year. Sure. What the st you know what the uh, size was uh -huh. measurements, uh, but it's a little bigger. So even though it's not as long, I think it'll all fit in yeah. there. And then what doesn't will go in the trailer because there's a <coughs> five door dresser in there. There's boxes of stuff. Oh yeah, and you bags. have a shed here that has things. Yes, there too. yes. Wow. Anything that comes from now on in the next few days has to go in the shed. I bet they really give you a big hug when you get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they no, they're delighted are they to really? see it. And the kids last year were pouring through the books, even the little ones. Wow. You know, I does think. Does your heart good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does. Now, does somebody uh, ride up with you? Yeah, uh, we had a book signing, uh, uh -huh. the Tooth Fairy book. Yes, right. Yes, and the guy that gave me the books, whose dad wrote the book, and his brother illustrated it, he's going with me. Oh, good. And because it's, it's a little dangerous to go and buy yourself. Yeah, well, you know, everybody... They don't know that I'm a loner. I mean, I've been to Europe and all over by myself and, have you really? and drove all over the United States. They don't know that I'm a loner. Everybody says, you have to have somebody. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, of course, you remember the Lions Club. Yes, Sunset Lions Club. I'm the president. Uh -huh. They drug me kicking and screaming into that job. Did they really? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I wanted one of these older people. So you but... carry a big stick now. Right now, yeah. <laughs> that and I'm the Kick president of All Nation Circle going. also. Yeah. And president of that, too. Are you really? Yeah, of All Nation Circle, yeah. Yeah, that's Well, great. a few of us that are left, yeah. There's not too many of us. Sure. Any of you people people want to join us, give me a call. Yeah, and your number is 585-0542. Five 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 oh five four four two. Two. Yes. Yeah. That's very mm -hmm. good. I wish we could get a powwow going again. You know, Ruth, have you heard about Ruth Romans or... I mean, uh, you know, not... Not Ruth Romans. Yeah. Ruth, uh... <laughs> you got me. The Romans, right, but the uh, Faye. Faye Romans, As yes. far as I know, she's still in Ukaipa. Is she really? But that's an expensive proposition. Yeah. And it's we are to... a small group, and everything we get goes into scholarships. Sure. You know, we give $500 scholarships. It's not a great deal. It's for here. I mean... It's for, it's for any kid yeah. that's enrolled. I see. Into a Good. you know into a tribal affiliation. Uh -huh. So we will we give out scholarships uh, of five hundred dollars. It's not a great stick, but it might pay for your books or you whatever. Bet. You bet. So we do do that. Yeah. And uh, and in order to raise that the, that money, you can't be putting it into a powwow. Yeah. You know right. we don't have we don't have much, but what we do goes yeah. to scholarships. Well, they had a powwow down at Lucerne, and of course you were down yes, there. Yes, I was. And that was a nice little powwow. Yeah. Didn't have uh -huh. a lot of uh, of dancers and all that, but enough to make uh, a nice day out. A nice day out. It was a beautiful day down there. Sure was. And I got some film of it and chatted with you. Yes. I always chat with you. Yes, you do. I know. <laughs> I'm very well, lucky. You're, you're very special. Thank you. That's why. You have a big heart. I try. And uh, yeah. you give so much to the community. and. And, well, I always uh, said when I retired, I was going to do that, yeah. but I just didn't know it was going to take over my whole life. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Keeps you Keep, young. That's what they tell me. That's right. Yeah. Instead of looking 85, I only look 75. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Linda, thanks so much. And God bless you. you. God, uh, Godspeed back there again. And uh, uh, I and tell you, you're just big, an angel going in thank there. Thank you. A big thank you to everybody in Big Bear. Because yeah. I couldn't do this by myself. I mean, I would have maybe a few donations. Sure. And I get, throw some money into it. But I wouldn't have this. Right. You know, I mean, I put the cabinet in here. I put the, these VCR tapes in here. I put other stuff in here right. myself. Sure. But I, I couldn't have made any kind of dent without the people of Big Bear Valley. Right. So. I'd like to show you, this is the other door. 
I mean, it's there's more stuff this behind it. Us wide. And of course, we need to thank. Yeah. Oh yeah, Big, Big Bear, Bear disposal. disposal. Very good. Because Again, they, they yes, they lend this thing to me, and I can keep it for you know a couple of months. I think I picked it up September eighth. Uh huh. So I've had it for a couple of months. You mean they delivered it? You didn't? Oh yeah. Oh one. yeah. They. Oh no. You wouldn't <laughs> want me dro dro dropping anything this big in here. Uh, oh, they deliver it, and it's the same man delivered it twice. Well, good. Little guy, and I thought, oh, my, glad to see you, because the street's so narrow. Sure. To try to back it in here. How great. Well, Linda, good luck. Thank you. Be careful. Thank and you very we'll much. see you when you get back. Okay, I will let you know. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it, folks. What a wonderful, wonderful project. And I'm out at Irwin Lake. And that's it from here. Don't go away. I'll be back right after the break.